My name is Brian Schefter. I serve as Deputy Chief of Staff to County Executive Calvin Ball here in Howard County, and it's our pleasure to welcome you. Uh, without further ado, I would like to uh, have you give a little round of applause, a warm welcome for our illustrious County Executive Calvin Ball. Well, thank you so much, Brian. Good afternoon and welcome, everyone. In February of this year, Market Watch ranked Howard County as the 11th healthiest county in the nation. In addition, we were recognized as the healthiest county in Maryland with only 10% of households experiencing food insecurity and 19% with low grocery excess. However, we are not going to forget about that 10% and that 19%. Howard County leads in ensuring fresh affordable food options to its residents because we know that healthy food is an essential component of strong bodies and strong minds. People who live in neighborhoods with access to raw vegetables, fruits, and lean protein often experience lower rates of obesity, heart disease, diabetes, and mental illness. And while you may have heard of farm to table, our roving radish operates by farm to family. We source locally produced food from Maryland farms and bring it to Howard County families, particularly in the areas with greatest need. The Roving Radish began as a meal kit program producing healthy, easy to cook meals that include ingredients from our local farms. These meal kits are ordered online and can be picked up at seven strategically placed locations throughout Howard County. Since 2019, the program has produced more than 40 3,000 kits, nearly 40% of which have been subsidized for individuals and families in need. In 2020, during the height of the pandemic, we produced more than 12,000 kits alone, and 44% of which were offered at a discount. During this time, we also partnered with our local children's board to distribute over 5,000 meal kits and 6,000 essential boxes to families impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. In 2021, we expanded the roving radish with the addition of the marketplace at Long Reach Village Center, where we provide access to fresh produce, meats, cheeses, and even honey. That same year, the Roving Radish received a Health Achievement Award from the National Association of Counties for its innovation and success in combating food scarcity. Today, the marketplace serves nearly 600 families, 63 of whom received discounted food due to financial need. What distinguishes the Radish from a typical food access program is the connection to agriculture. The program provides a sustainable market for our local farms pur purchasing Maryland grown produce and proteins. Each year, we have grown our purchase of local produce with more than $600,000 invested in our local farms since 2019. The marketplace also provides a viable outlet for our farms with 25 of our local farmers selling their products at the Roving Radish. Today, we're excited to unveil our latest expansion of the Roving, Roving Radish program, the Mobile Market Van. This van will make 12 community stops per week at our schools, libraries, apartments, and community centers across Howard County, including, site, including sites in Columbia, Cooksville, Elkridge, Ellicott City, Laurel, and Savage. The mobile market will provide fresh produce and proteins directly to our residents. The stop locations include right here at the East Columbia campus, where, where uh, chosen uh, we're chosen data using data from our partners to identify neighborhoods with the highest need. This effort will help us break down barriers to fresh local food. The marketplace is open to everyone in our community and will provide discount prices to those in need. I want to thank the many partners who have made this mobile market 
possible, several of whom you will hear from shortly. Specifically, I want to recognize the Healthier Choices Coalition, Horizon Foundation, Howard County Public School System, our Howard County Library System, and our other elected official partners for their support and funding. This steadfast support for the mobile market couldn't have happened without you. I also want to recognize our partners in the farming community who have made it possible to bring local produce to our neighbors while supporting our family farms. We value your partnership and we know that as we grow this model program, we also increase our investment in the future of local farming. Together, we're delivering on the gift of healthier eating to more of our neighbors and I'm proud to say this farm to family connection is just one reason Howard County remains the best place to live, work, play, grow, and thrive for all. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ball. Our next speaker will be James Zoller, the Agricultural Coordinator and Roving Radish Program Manager with the Office of Community Sustainability. I'm going to start by thanking you all for coming. Uh, I've had a privilege of managing the roving radish since uh, 2014, its inception um, 10 years ago. One of the pleasures of working uh, on the roving radish has been the freedom to develop innovative solutions to meet the challenges of our community. This freedom to evolve has been afforded to us by the support of County Executive Dr. Calvin Ball and his administration, our strong partnerships, the community, community and our dedicated staff. This program is truly unique, providing our community access to fresh produce and proteins, creating a sustainable market for our local farms, and establishing a platform for numerous county food initiatives. And when I say community, I mean everyone in our community. Something that is typically misunderstood is that the roving radish is just for people in need. Anyone can purchase our meal kits or produce from the roving radish at our standard price. And when people purchase from the roving radish at standard prices, they help pr the program afford to subsidize the products for those less fortunate. Shopping at the Moby Market is easy. Everyone fills out a quick form to become a member and then receives a membership card. This membership card entitles customers to weekly specials and all eligible subsidies are applied automatically when their card is scanned. This makes subsidized customers indistinguishable from our other shoppers, affording every way, everyone the dignity they deserve. To qualify for the roving radish subsidy, you must be enrolled in one of the following programs within the past 12 months, SNAP, WIC, Temporary Cash Assistance, Medicare, Met, Maryland Children Health Program, School Breakfast Lunch Program, and, and Social Security Disability or Social Security Disability. So today, we add another chapter to the Roving Radish, the Roving Radish Mobile Marketplace. This mobile marketplace will allow us to come directly to the doorsteps of communities with the greatest need and is a testament to Howard County's commitment to addressing food access and insecurity. I want to thank again the elected officials, our partners, our staff, and community for their support because without it, the Roving Radish would not be the success it is today. Finally, I want to invite you all to shop at the Roving Radish Marketplace at the end of the press release. So thank you very much. Thank you, James. Our next speaker will be Bill Barnes, superintendent with the Howard County Public School System. Good afternoon. I'm so excited to be here today to celebrate the continued evolution of Roving Radish through the launch of this mobile market. I love that Roving Radish will be able to meet more families where they are by using their distribution van to reach more neighborhoods, bringing them fresh and local produce. As a longtime Howard County Public School System staff member, I appreciate that so many of our local organizations, including Roving Radish, do not shy away from the very real issues that our children and families face related to poverty and, and or food insecurity. As of last year, the average free and reduced price meals rate in our schools was 30.2%, nearly one in three children. So we as a school system are always working to ensure that our children have nourishment they need during the school day, but also more than that, that they are connected to resources in the community to ensure they have access to nutrition when they are not in school. 
This helps to remove a barrier to student learning and enables our students to show up ready to learn each and every day. Roving Radish has been a great partner in this effort by providing affordable and discounted meal kits to our students and their families. And we are incredibly grateful that the new mobile market will visit four of our school sites every week in addition to the other community sites. I encourage our community members to take advantage of this valuable opportunity made possible through this partnership. So thank you and congratulations to Roving Radish for this new venture. Thank you. Thank you, Superintendent Barnes. Our next speaker is Christiana Rigby, member of the Howard County Council. All right, well, I came prepared to tell you all the new cool things the expansion does, a little bit of the history, and then I was going to talk about childhood poverty in Howard County. So since I think all of that's been covered, um, I just really want to share some behind the scenes perspective about the folks that put this together. I feel so lucky, both as a resident, but also as a representative of our people, that we have teams that are always innovatively thinking, how can we meet our community where they are? What needs do they have? How can we break down these barriers? And how can we support them? And it is really an honor to be both represented in a county, but also part of that team that's always working towards improving things in Howard County. So if you don't know that, that that's all happening every day, I want you to know that because between James Zoller and County Executive Ball and Brian Schepter and Tim Latimer, neither of them are gonna sing their praises. You'll see one of them is even holding a board. I, I really want you to know how deeply um, these folks care for our community and how they work every day on our behalf. So thank you, and I'm very excited for the mobile market. I know this is something our residents have long needed, um, and I think I'm excited to get out there and shop with them. So see you all at the market. Thank you, Councilmember Rigby. Our next speaker is Jessica Fellmark, State Delegate and Co-Chair of the Howard County Delegation. and shortest speaker so far. <laughs> so good afternoon, everyone. I'm Delegate Jessica Feldmark. It is my pleasure to be here with you today. Um, I am here uh, together with my colleague, Delegate Pam Gazzoni. Um, we are proud to be state partners uh, in, in this effort. And, and I just want to share on a personal note um, how exciting it is to be here today. Um, I, many years ago, um, and wearing a different hat at the time, had the pleasure of being part of the team that initially created the Roving Radish. And it is so sweet to uh, be here today to celebrate its expansion and just see how far it has come growing and evolving over the years. Uh, when the idea of the Roving Radish was was first uh, imagined before it had a catchy name or a whimsical logo. Uh, <laughs> it, it truly was an ambitious concept uh, with partners inside and outside of county government working together to address food insecurity, to improve public health, to support local agriculture, and to really enhance our sustainability as a community. Um, it, it took a lot of work. Launching the Roving Radish required creativity, collaboration, and hard work. It also took a, a healthy leap of faith, and um, it has been wonderful to see its success and growth over the years. So I do want to thank County Executive Ball for his continued commitment to the Roving Radish and, and really its continued growth, the launch of this next, next chapter with the mobile marketplace is so exciting. I was told and I agreed to keep my remarks very brief, but I do have to just one more time recognize and thank James Zoller. Um, he is, he really is an unsung hero um, in this community. Uh, in the agricultural community and in, in all aspects of sustainability. Um, and so to, to James and to everyone who's part of this effort, thank you. 
Thank you, Delegate Feldmark. Our next speaker is Lisa Pearson, board chair for the Horizon Foundation. Good afternoon, everyone. I am so pleased to follow Jessica and to have the mic in the right place. I feel so aligned to be here with you all today as board chair for Horizon Foundation and a member of a health community here in Howard County. It means so much to us that this will be accessible to our clients, to our community, to have healthy food because we know it is the bedrock of our health. The foundation has worked for over a decade to make healthy food and drinks more available in our community. From working with Howard County Public School System to install salad bars in every school to encouraging residents to swap out those sugary drinks for something a little bit more healthy and working with community members in our Healthier Choice Coalition to advocate for affordable, accessible food everywhere in our community. We work to make the healthy choice the easy choice, the accessible choice. And to do that, we must break down systemic barriers that have prevented some residents from achieving good health. The mobile market will do just that. I hope today you feel victorious I hope today you hit high five and hug one another as we celebrate this victory. The Horizon Foundation, we envision with all of you a Howard County that is free of systemic inequities, where all people will live abundant and healthy lives. And by working together to make fresh, healthy food more accessible and affordable to everyone in our community, we are one step closer to seeing that vision become a reality. And thank you all. Let's shop and celebrate today. Thank you, Ms. Pearson. Christy Lassen, Director of Communications and External Affairs with the Howard County Public Library System is our next speaker. Thank you. Oop, and down we go again. <laughs> So good afternoon. Thank you so much for coming out to the library. We're so pleased to have you here. I bring greetings on behalf of Tonya Akins, our president and CEO who could not be here today. Um, I too am a huge Robin Radish fan. Every time I see James, I tell him that. I'm even, even wearing Robin Radish colors, if you might have noticed. Um, and I'm looking forward to going to get my own meal kit later this afternoon. It's waiting for me. So. Um, since 2017, Roving Radish has distributed meal kits at several of our branches, including East Columbia and Elk Ridge, and now their mobile market will bring fresh local produce to these two library communities. We know that food insecurity enhances people's ability to learn and grow, and that's one of the reasons why we partner with the Howard County Public School System and Good Harvest to serve summer snacks at our central branch and summer lunches at our East Columbia and Elk Ridge branches. We are excited to welcome the Roving Radish mobile market to our East Columbia and Elk Ridge branches and bring a new opportunity for healthy food to these communities. While Roving Radish feeds people's bodies, we invite people to engage with us in feeding their minds through our collection of cookbooks, online magazines like Cooks Illustrated and Taste of Home, cooking and nutrition classes, and international grocery store tours, and so much more. We are so pleased to be part of this partnership to bring locally grown, healthy foods to our neighbors. Thank you. Good afternoon, friends and neighbors. Welcome on behalf of the Community Action Council of Howard County. I'm beyond grateful to be part of this celebration of the mobile marketplace. First of all, I can't put away my classroom teacher, a little audience participation. Raise your hand if you plan your meals each week. Plan your meals? All right, we got some meal planners. Raise your hand if you are someone who wings it at the grocery store. You just go in, you have no idea what's going on. You're like, all right. Raise your hand if right now you have food in your pantry. Most of us, right? Raise your hand if you have fruits and vegetables in your refrigerator. All right. Maybe some of you might have a garden in your yard. All right, very good. Fewer gardeners. We got to work on that, James. Raise your hand if you can drive to a farmer's market pretty much anytime you want. All right, most of us. Most of us enjoy the freedom of choice and mobility, but that is not the case for everyone in Howard County. 
As you know, CAC operates our beloved Howard County Food Bank, and since July of 2023, we have seen a 23% increase in visitors and a 21% increase in households with children ages 18 and under, and 50% of those families are led by single-parent females. The need for food assistance, as you've already heard, is real in Howard County, and it's not just any food. It's not, you know, here's your quick mac and cheese. It's fresh, healthy food because we know that fresh, healthy food keeps families healthy, keeps children healthy, keeps them learning in schools, and keeps them educated. The Community Action Council's partnership with Roving Radish is instrumental to meeting the needs and the need for local food assistance. Carrie, our fabulous director of our food bank services, and James, constantly, you guys are talking like every day, I think, um, scheming about how to better serve Howard County and expand our collective reach to make sure everyone has access to fresh, healthy food. I'm gonna share something with you that I bet most of you didn't know. The Roving Radish helps us at, the, at CAC reach people who would otherwise not be able to get to the food bank. Last year, I don't know if you knew this, James. Do you know this? I don't know. Last year, the Roving Radish made 440 deliveries of fresh, healthy food from the food bank to families who couldn't get to us. And this year, to date, so we're not done with the year yet, the fiscal year, they've already made 550 deliveries. Again, go James, right? And team, and team, right? The mobile market will expand the availability of healthy food to neighbors who are often marginalized because of the stigma of looking for assistance. Maybe there's fear in coming for assistance or simply they don't have a way to get to us at the food bank. The roving radish under James's leadership is literally making inroads to places that are unreached. And the Community Action Council is grateful to call you our friend and partner. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Ms. Broccolino. Our next speaker is Jackie Scott, Director for the Department of Community Resources and Services here in Howard County. Oh. Thank you very much. Um, it is a pleasure to be here. I want to thank County Executive Ball. I want to thank Tim Latimer and his team, and especially uh, continue to thanks of, for James Zoller. And congratulations for this long-awaited, anticipated uh, mobile market. Uh, thank you for your vision and your commitment to our community. The Department of Community Resources and Services is happy to continue to be a partner in this initiative. Part of our mission at DCRS centers around working daily to ensure that no individual, no family, and no community in this county is food insecure. And that is a tall order. You know, food insecurity is often the silent shame that follows people around. And we, through this partnership and this mobile market, are working to get rid of that shame and to provide people with the resources they need to thrive. Partnering with the Roving Radish and providing support for their programs has been a key component in our ability to provide healthy foods in our communities across Howard County and to support our local farmers. Working alongside James and the Roving Radish team and the other partners you've heard from today, over the past six fiscal years, DCRS has been able, through these partnerships, to invest over $600,000 into food programs with the support of our county executive and the vision of our partners to reach people who need food. We have served over a thousand residents through our community fairs, back to school events and national emergencies like the COVID pandemic and the federal shutdown. James, we could not have done any of that 
without you, your vision, and your commitment to meeting people where they are and ensuring that they are living healthy lives. We as DCRS are excited to continue as a part of this collaboration across the lifespan and to look forward to making healthy and nutritious foods more accessible to our communities and promoting healthy living through the roving radish for many years to come. And I personally cannot wait to shop. Thank you. Thank you, Director Scott. Our next speaker is Alice Harris, Lead Equity Fellow with the Healthier Choices Coalition. Appreciate it. Thank you, Brian. Uh, let's see. I think I can go down a little here. Uh, as everybody can hear, first of all, I want to just thank all of you who are here to even be at the press conference today. I think it says so much just about the commitment, the diversity of our community and what we stand for and what we want for all residents throughout our county. And Jackie, you could not have said that better. So thank you, I can skip a whole one of my paragraphs here. But let me also say that um, I am honored to be with you today serving in my current role as a fellow for the Horizon Foundation and lead organizer for the Healthier Choices Coalition. I cannot emphasize how thrilled I am to be here today. It's like giving birth, it's just to see it come to fruition. To celebrate the launch of the county's mobile market initiative, members of our Healthier Choices Coalition in collaboration with the Howard County government and community partners have been working towards this day for the past two years, okay? Past two years. We don't even carry children that long, but past two years. So let me just say this. Our coalition brings together Howard County residents, individuals, and members of local civic faith and health organizations working together to create policy changes that will make healthier food and beverages more available, accessible, and affordable for our neighbors, families, and our friends. We do this because no matter who you are or where you live, it is the belief of the Healthier Choices Coalition that everyone, every resident, should be able to access healthy and affordable food throughout our diverse communities, although we are aware that this has not always been a reality for all of our residents. We see the launch of the mobile market today as a major game changer, James. Each week, the van will bring local farm fresh groceries, including produce and meat products, to communities across Howard County at discounted prices with the goal of making it easier for residents to access the types of foods that will help them to support and maintain healthier families and equally important, healthier communities. As such, I would like to extend a thank you to Mr. James Zoller, James, you're getting a lot of thank yous today, but we're just going to keep adding on. From Roving Radish as his team and his team for the incredible support they have provided throughout the planning and development stages that has helped us to transition, James, from a bold vision to an actual reality. On behalf of the coalition, we also want to extend a special thank you to our county executive, Dr. Calvin Ball, and his chief of staff, Ms. Angela Kebon, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing her name correctly, and our county council members for their support in championing this effort and providing the resources necessary, sir. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Let me just get that. So that hasn't happened to anyone. That was seen to give you a break, okay? <laughs> and especially if I didn't pick that up, I would be speaking another hour. So I'm, in order to save some time, I'm gonna stick to the script. But again, thanking Dr. Calvin Ball, his chief of staff, Ms. Angela Kebelon, and our county council members for their support in championing this effort and providing the resources necessary, Dr. Ball, to make it happen. And you were there. I can remember being on a Zoom, and I'm just gonna say this very quickly, I looked at Dr. Ball and I know that, you know, here's our funding, uh, how we're gonna do this, how we're gonna get through this year, the next year. And he just said, we got it, we got it. And I, I can't believe I said this because I actually told my mother and I said, thank you Dr. Ball for taking this walk of faith with us. 
and you have taken that serve. You believed in the vision, you believed that we could get to this point, and today we are here to celebrate that we were able to achieve this goal. It is also a personal honor to extend a heartfelt thanks to all of our coalition and community members that have been at the table with us over the past several years. We started this coalition three years ago, so we're actually in our third year. Those who have raised their voices in communities, health fairs, you name it, in schools, to advocate for the mobile market and continue to collaborate with us to achieve our collective goals of making healthy food and beverages more accessible and affordable for all residents throughout our county. Should I do that again? All residents throughout our county. Please know if you are interested in learning more about the work of the coalition, our doors are always open and we would welcome the opportunity for you to join us. In closing, we realize that we still have a lots of work ahead of us. But today, let me just say this, we are simply happy and sincerely grateful to celebrate this wonderful first step with all of you. Thank you. I too will be shopping afterwards. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Harris. Our final speaker today will be Mary Wilde, the owner of Three Dozen Daisies Farm. I'm more used to talking in front of plants than people, so I'll keep this quick. <laughs> Howard County has a deep history in agriculture, but not all farmers have generations of experience to draw upon. As a third year farm in Howard County, we are still expanding our volume and developing our customer base. The roving radish has been an immense resource to us, both as a low pressure sales avenue and a consistent income stream to keep our business growing. The mobile marketplace takes that opportunity further. With a young family at home, it can be challenging for us to participate in traditional markets. The mobile marketplace enables us to reach a broader customer base we could not otherwise serve. We are so excited to work with other local farms in bringing fresh produce to families across the county. Thank you to our roving radish partners, and we can't wait to stuff the truck full of zucchini and tomatoes. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Wild. Before we break this afternoon, I wanted to recognize a couple of our elected partners that were here. Uh, Delegate Pam Gazzoni, thank you so much for being here. Uh, Bridget Smith with the Office of Congressman John Sarbanes, thank you for being here, Bridget. And Charlie Perry, Chief of Staff to Delegate Natalie Ziegler is also with us. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. We appreciate you and we welcome you to join us for some photos uh, and then a little bit of shopping. Thank you so much.